Hello guys and welcome back to another Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight video. This time we'll be taking a look at Steam Skip Next Gen Update. This is a very new mod that has been added specifically because of the new Next Gen Update that has been added to, uh, to Fallout 4. Which doesn't actually add a lot to PC and it breaks all, like it breaks the Fallout 4 script extender. Therefore it breaks a mod that relies on that thing. And for a lot of people that really ruin the game and they can't load their save because it's going to get corrupted or there's a chance it's going to get corrupted later on in their playthrough. Uh, or they really, really have nice mods that they just kind of don't want to play without. So it is a very good idea to either use this thing or use uh, something similar to it to actually go ahead and revert your game. If that is your use case in that situation, you know. Um, I'm not going to show anything in this video. This is more of an awareness thing. Um, I'm not planning on doing it because to me personally, I, I'm just going to wait for the actual script extender. I'm going to cover mods that does not require the script extender to function uh, until it comes out for this next update. But for people that are afraid that Bethesda might update again to fix issues they have implemented in this update to the game, um, this could be a very useful tool because uh, there's a chance they're going to update the game again and it's going to break the mods one more time and the script extender might take even longer to get updated. So I feel like it's very important that I at least make people aware of the option of just reverting your game to an older update. Now with that being said, um, the GOG version, you can select the actual version. On Steam you cannot. That is why this one is called Steam Skip Next Gen Update. So if you're on any other platform, this one is kind of irrelevant to you. Um, and this doesn't work on PlayStation and Xbox as well, so keep that in mind. Anyway, I'm going to make you guys aware of something to begin with, and that is that this f uh, mod that I'm suggesting has an .exe file, or rather it's actually called a, uh, what is it called, an ACF file. Uh, so it goes into Steam and it uh, downloads Steam posts, which is like like versions that they have put into Steam before. Um, and then they kind of just take them back again to the game files, and then your game should be downgraded. Uh, but if you're unsure about that, at the bottom of the page, uh, by the way, the link to the Nexus page is, is in the description. At the bottom of that page, he has a guide if you want to do it manually instead. If you don't trust the actual ACF thing, you can go ahead and do it at the bottom and, and kind of take a look at the bottom of the page and kind of do everything manually. Now, on Nexus, it does say that this say, like the, the actual file he's using is safe to use. He also shows document, uh, or he also shows the actual files in question on GitHub, as an example. Um, it is also made by by Lego. I probably have mentioned that later, like earlier on, or Bilego, or by Lego, or however you want to pronounce that. Um, and um, yeah, that, that's pretty much all the information you might need in order to do the whole undo the next gen updates. But just to make you aware, if you do not feel safe with it, again, at the, at the bottom of his About This Mod section or in the, at the description, you can easily go ahead and find the things. I'm not going to put it in my description because I don't. I, I feel like I would just be stealing things from his page. So I'm going to put the link in my description and then you can read more about it on the actual page there. Um, anyway, again, there are two options. Either you can use the file he provides. If you feel unsafe about that, even though it seems to be completely safe because a lot of people use it at this point and um, and it seems to uh, to not have been taken down or anything or anything so again but, but if you are the kind of person that's very skeptical about this stuff just just, just do it manually um, look up how to do it online uh, manually and then go ahead and do it I don't know enough about depots and, and stuff like that um, so I don't want to do that but it is an option if you really, really want to revert back again. Now, with that being said, that is also all I kind of have to uh, have to share about this one. So, again, in the description of my video, find the link to the Nexus page. Read more about it. Try to learn about it. I encourage that a lot. And after you feel like you have read and learned enough about it, you will make your decision. Do you want to actually do this or do you not? Is the risk better than the reward? Or can you wait for the next script extender thing? But that's going to be it for this mod spotlight. It is a mod on, on Nexus, that is why I'm covering it. And it's important for you to make this decision. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what to do and what not to do. I already told you what I decided. But your game is your property. Well, technically, uh, that doesn't matter. If, to you, it's your property. So you go ahead and do what you want with it. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little spotlight. Uh, hope to see you guys in another one of my uh, spotlight videos or my Let's Plays. 
Consider liking, subscribing and sharing and as always, stay awesome.